Terry has Alzheimer's. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, I don't think he wants, yeah. it, it, you know, he's out there raising awareness for Alzheimer's. Terry has Alzheimer's and it's, it's tragic, uh, you know, early onset Alzheimer's for somebody as smart as he is. Having said that, Terry is coming down from a very, very high place in terms of mental function. What he does now is he dictates. Um, he can't type, he can write. So he has speech to, uh, speech to text stuff and he has an assistant called Rob who works with him and Terry will dictate and then Rob will play with the text and make, you know, just, just fix the words that it got wrong and do all the typing stuff. Will we see anything else from you two together again? Or? It's not 100% impossible. Um, but then Terry has a lot to do, I think, before Nightfall and I don't know that doing a Good Omen sequel would be one of those. On the other hand, one of the things that Terry and I have tried to promise ourselves that is that we would get, um, you know, if, if a Good Omens adaptation happens, we would like it to happen while Terry can still see it. With Terry Gilliam? I can say nothing. <laughs> nothing! I will say nothing. My lips are sealed. Put it this way, I'm an enormous fan of Terry Gilliam's and Terry has been trying to make it in one form or another since about 19... 89? He had a copy before. I want to make this movie. I, the funny thing about Terry Gilliam is we just sent him a copy for a blurb, pre-publication. Yeah. And he didn't know it was sent for a blurb. He just read it and went, yes, I want to make this book. And he's been trying to make it yeah. since ever since. And got incredibly close sometimes. But at least with Don Quixote, he started making it and had to stop twice. Right. So now this is once more is Don Quixote.